All right, LaShawn, the female in the building. It's been a minute since we last talked. You went through some things. I noticed in one of the posts, you was driving for the company Variant. And I reached out to you in the messenger, and I was like, whoa, you work for Variant now? You was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. But then, but then... One minute uh, you uh, there, and the next minute yeah. you're gone. Like, what happened? And all this right around the holidays. That's kind of messed up to get hemmed up from a company, especially around the silly season. So so talk to me. The floor is yours. What what happened? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Well, the gist of it is you can get them all stopped. You said to my location. What I thought was a safe turnaround wasn't, so I got fired for it. I had, I was on 90 days for one, so you know how that go. 90 days on any job, you really can't make not near mistake. And the first two mistakes I had made was, uh, it's just why they say when you move somewhere, you're supposed to get your license all over again so you can know their traffic laws, et cetera, until you move somewhere. Because everybody's traffic laws are different. Some places you can U-turn, some places you can't. Some places you can U-turn, you know, at the the light thing. Some places it depends on where you live at. However, my first mistake was I had gotten off the highway. It was a roundabout highway, a continuous roundabout highway. And it literally had no sign stating that there was lights at the end of the highway. And this highway had led right into a downtown area. It was at nighttime, so nobody was out. And everybody was out, I would know the difference, but it wasn't. And right at the end of the, the highway, it's like 10 lights back to back, like a blinking light, a stable light, a blinking light, a stable light, all the way down the thing. So the first one I passed up. And then down, I'm like, wait a minute, that was a light. So I stopped again. It was probably like 2 o'clock in the morning. So the downtown was completely closed. And all the lights were red. So as I stopped, I'm just like, I just passed the light, I think. So I'm looking in the rear mirror. But it didn't have it, no uh, warning signs on the highway coming off the highway. So I stopped at all of them. Okay. The second incident I, I did was the GPS, the magnificent GPS, took me off the highway to a wrong location as usual. My job always tell me, well, you use a car GPS. And I'm like, you cannot use a, a car GPS on a truck because it doesn't factor the fact that I'm a truck. I need certain, certain places I can't go, so you can't use that. They go, oh, yeah, you're right. Why don't you tell me this? I know. Anyway, whatever. Moving on. So I had gotten off the highway and it was wanting me to turn, uh, make you turn. I'm like, there is no way I can take this big truck and make U-turns where I'm at. So I ended up having to go way out the way to get back on track. But I did. However, this guy has this thing where if you get off track and go out the way, you have to pay a dollar per mile that you're off track. So here it is, like, okay, I'm out the way. I did not see the speed limit where I was at. However, I did reduce my speed limit because I was um, not on the highway anymore. But apparently I was still too fast on the highway. So those are the two things that got me put on probation. I was in a day cab, so I was driving early at night, and I'm going down roads with no lights. So, you know, if I don't see a stoplight, that's my fault. Yeah, you know, not a stoplight, excuse me. A speed, um, speed sign is my fault, even though I wasn't near one, no lights. So those are the two things that got me put on probation. And the thing was, if I do anything else, I'd be terminated. So now I'm walking on AX field. At the time I was doing um, the day cab on uh, 60, my car had caught COVID. I needed a transmission. So I had to get rid of my car. So I was in $800 a month on Uber for my job. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go OTR, knock down some bills, give me a car to come back to day cab. Smart thing, right? So I switched over. So um, I started in September. I switched over in October, like close to November. No, first of November. I switched over to OTR. I'm on the road. Everything is fine. And well, lo and behold, I get down to Louisiana. What does yes do? Take me down the road that ended into a dead end. All dark. You know, Louisiana at nighttime. They ain't got no street lights on the back road. Of course, that's why I do go to the back road to get the tractor supply. It took me down a dead end and I'm by the bayou. I had to back out like two and a half miles backwards beside the bayou. Okay, it's not working for me. So um, anyway, I managed to do it. I didn't fall over the water. Thank God. Now I'm going on to Florida. I'm down to Florida and I'm doing everything I need to do. Everything is great. The GPS did have me go the wrong way again, but I'm Bob to this time. So I have plenty of time. It's daylight. I have plenty of time to turn around, you know, and they don't have a load for me. I'm just uh, filling up, take my shower, and going to find a safe park until they find a trailer for me and find a load, et cetera. So later on that night, they was telling me, oh, where I was parked at 
this reserve parking, so I couldn't stay there. So I had to move, and I had to be on the side of the road like we normally are. As I was driving, the dude was taking me towards a different way. Anyway, it kept saying turn around because relocating it was delayed. So it was every time bus for you. And part of me like, well, I don't want to go out the way again like I did before. And if I had a safe place to uh, turn around. Well, on the street, it was all businesses, but it was car businesses, not no commercial businesses. So, like, I couldn't turn up in the different places because it was only big enough for the cars to turn up in. And if I thought the was going down, I, I was going way out the way. Like, yeah, this is that way out the way thing. So, on the side of the road, how you have your sidewalk, but then you have that lip to come out where they have the U-turn area where you can turn up because it has, like, a look like a driveway lip that comes out. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so there was no cars coming. I'm by myself at night. I'm like, okay, maybe it's okay to turn here because it has a lip right here hanging up the, off the um, sidewalk with a line of trees. And it's, again, no cars coming. I turned right there. I'm in a bobtail. I turned right there and turned back around. And that's what got me fired. They put me on, I went on break on the 19th because I had a doctor's appointment. They said, you want to go home for Christmas? So I was just going to a doctor's appointment, come back home, come out a month at a time. That's okay, fine. So they said, come back to death Christmas. So my time to go back to work was on 26 at 6 a.m. I got up at 4 o'clock, did my routine. And of course, like always, I get up and be ready and I got to wait on them. So then about 8, 30, 9 o'clock, I get a text saying, come to the office for a face-to-face meeting. And right then and there, I said, that can't be good because I don't ever talk to them. Okay. So I started thinking like, no, it's going to be something that happened. Either we get stuck down in, um, you know, Louisiana or something. And yes, I got there. They told me I'm terminated. So I just said, okay. Then I had to clear out my truck, so I had my husband come with me and we'd make two trips because she said I couldn't take it back home to clear it out and bring it back. Which they could have just told me, one, while I was on vacation, two, while I was going home, three, that morning, because I would have cleared out my stuff and brought the truck in into a problem. But I know she didn't get that morning, never Christmas, early, like, oh, let me check the cameras. They did, though. They could have told me while I, was, while I was already off. It would have been a problem. Only like 20 miles away from me. So, yeah, kind of. Kind of in my feelings to the government because, like, as part of transmuting, eliminating, and adapting, it's a part of life. It's part of growth. Let me just say this. If you're not already doing it, I'm, I'm assuming you are. Try to hurry up and get back with a company before it goes on your DAC report. But let me stop and say that some companies are intertwined with each other now so they yeah they don't crazy. even they they don't even go through the dap report i i just talked to a young lady i think her name is her name is sassy trucker shout out to her she's from ohio as well and if i'm not mistaken if it's her that i talked to it but she told me something about a company that she applied for said that they found out from another company through a whole different program and it wasn't even higher right i gotta go back and look for it because that's a, probably might be a good topic of discussion but uh, but as of right now usually it would take about 30 days before it actually shows up on your da- report maybe you can find another company because once you put on there that you was terminated for safety reasons that's going to be like a, a red flag or a red mark on you for a future company so wow so u.s express let's just say who it is u.s express variant yeah, they were, i think it's variant Vari- like, variant 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 u.s express they're part yeah. of the night swift but they still have they one and done's huh because a young lady named kt taylor she was terminated for the same thing one and done she made a u-turn thought she made a proper u-turn and they they brought her in and and told her she had to go because of the u-turn of course everybody knows my story with us express so they brought me in because of the because of the video i made and and term, terminated me that day yeah they brought you in for the video what happened i did a video i forgot what it was it was i, I don't know if they still got that the drive sensor drive it's the this the g slash qualcomm slash thingy a computer that they had yeah the one that don't know where it's here that one yeah so i got a i did a video on that because it it went out on me it went out when i was going up into the into the pa way station yeah it went out on me like literally like literally went out and i i did a whole video about it and they they brought me in talking about that i did a video because i was holding the camera and everything and i was telling them i wasn't holding the camera it was strapped on my wrist i wasn't 
in violation of the handheld uh, device. Oh, I wasn't in violation of that. And they said that I was, but it, it was either here nor there. They gave me 24 hours to get up out the truck. And mind you, where I was at, I was only 400 miles away from Ohio to drop it off at Springfield to get the driver tech. That's what it's called, the driver tech fix. And I was called by my fleet manager at the time to come in and come down to Georgia. And I'm like, wait, Georgia is like close to about 800, 900 miles. What you talking about? I'm about to go to Columbus, drop the truck off, let them fit on the truck. And this is like doing a holiday. This is like doing the 4th of July. So I was like, I was going to drop it off, wait till they get fits, and then I was going to go home. What's, 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 the, what's up? Nah, we want you to bring it into Tunnel Hill to get it fits. Yada, yada, yada. Long story short, it was just to bamboozle me to come in, come in and talk to the safety lady and get terminated, pretty much. So, Hello? yeah, I'm yeah, still I'm here. So you was with U.S. Express? Yeah, well, I started so, my career with U.S. Funny. Express. I was with U.S. Express. I got my license in 15. I started U.S. Express right after that. Yeah, I, I was with U.S. Express for about two years. First year was good. Second year was kind of because we was they, they were switching up so many fleet managers. I had I had a good manager. Then I had a I had a messed up manager. Then I had a good manager. And then the, the last chick lady, she was messed up. So it was it was meh. But yeah, when I did when I when I got hemmed up at uh, MPA going through the way station and the, and the driver tech went out. Yeah, that, I was bamboozled to come into Tunnel Hill. And yeah, just that's to get what terminated. was happening to me when I said you can't have me go through the wrong area because it kept glitching. You know, it glitches. And then once you try to reset, it's doing its own thing. Like, this, I got nothing to do. And then sometimes I had to pull over and get a. Uh, Pull it, um, reset the whole thing. It's time back over so this can give me the directions I had started off with, opposed to the one it wanted me to go through. So, yeah, it's okay. I'm not the only one. It's cool. I'm going to have to ask you, though, why you didn't have a, a Ram and Nelly or a Garmin? <laughs> okay. Deeper into my past. Remember, I was with USA, right? Hold on. What'd you say now? Remember, I was with USA? You Remember, I was with USA Truck? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I had started getting dizzy. For years, I was diagnosed with vertigo, and that's curable. However, when I had got a U.S. USA had been working me, I had to do like 3,500 miles a week. It was on killer, so I was like really overworked, overwhelmed, started getting dizzy. So for safety-wise, safety reasons, I got off the truck, went and got checked, and I was diagnosed with Meniere's disease. Vertigo is curable. Meniere isn't. It's a 1% chance of people getting it. Well, I had it. So I was off the truck for two and a half years. That's what happened. I had to have surgery on my vocal cords a few months back. I had to go to an EMT. And he was able to look at my MRI and told me that I did not have Meniere's disease. I had a really bad sinus um, infection and some like really bad allergies, which means my dizziness, clogged up, whatever. Long story short, I got released. After two and a half years to go back to work, I had just the, the day I found out to go back to work, I went and got my DLT on my own, and then I went to U.S. Express because it was a home daily, so I was easy to it because I was working part time. I only was supposed to be working Saturday and Sunday, but she told me if I could work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So some days I was going Wednesday through Saturday. It was a part time job, working nights. Just that I was spending so much money going back because my car, like I said, caught COVID. I had a good transmission. I got rid of my car, and that's why I didn't have to. I just started back. I just started back after two and a half years in September. So I think it was that was my, on my to do list to get something. You know, once I knocked out everything, got my uh, car again, I can go back to the daycare part time. But yeah, it was on my future to do list. It just never got to done. So again, LaShawn, when you got with US Express, Get a uh, GPS, like a Ram and Nally or, or, or a Garmin? Again, no, I was only working part-time. Oh, okay, okay. And you just felt... I just started in September. Okay, okay, okay. So I was trying to recruit from the two and a half years of being off of work, trying to you know, like, you know, play catch-up or some things I need to take care of that I haven't been able to do right. when I'm working. Right. So part-time, I was paying $800 a month for Uber. Right. Back and forth to work. That could have been my, you know, my little thing. Hey, hold on, this is going overkill. Let me uh, spend twenty five dollars, fifty dollars a day to get to work. 
So I'm like, okay, let me, uh, four days a week, that's $200 a week. That's $800. So I'm like, well, let me go ahead and go full time. So I can just be on the truck. I don't worry about going home. Just go sleep on the truck. You know, do what I need to do. And then, get, you know, I was going to get that. Another he- a headset. Because I didn't even have a headset. I wasn't talking right. to anybody in my family or anybody while I was on the truck. My whole thing was getting up to her, go to sleep, get up and repeat. So I wanted to come home. Like when I left on November 1st, I didn't come home to Thanksgiving. I left the after Thanksgiving. Went back. I didn't come home till uh, right before Christmas. And I went back the day before Christmas. And I wasn't going to come back again to Easter. Because I was trying to make all my ends meet. And I got to be back down and be back on, you know, on my feet. Then we do all that play stuff later. Like, you know, oh, you want to talk to me now? Well, now you give me an earpiece. I'll talk to you. Cause right now I ain't got time to talk to somebody. I'm going to text me back. If I need something, text me. I'll check it, you know. And if you need something at home, I'll, I'll call Walmart, send it to y'all. But right now I ain't got time to talk. Right. Text, make me a list, and I'll get it to you. That's how I was, you know. Wow. So in other words, you you, know, you just didn't have the available money to to get the nope, GPS. Nope. I mean, as much as I, I'm working for this company, they need to have everything I need equipped right now because this is y'all's job I'm running. So if they should to stay equipped, I did my part. I showed up my, my hours. I did everything I need me to do. Oh, I know a lot of people are going to turn around and be like, oh, man, well, you paid attention to the GPS and you could have got you a Ram at Nally book or whatever. To be honest with you, the truck GPS yes. that comes equipped with the truck, the Qualcomm, the driver tag, the Samser, those are not good. G- they not good at all. I remember when, before I even got my Ram at Nally, that the truck GPS, yes. the route that they wanted me to go was the wrong route. Like I kept telling my fleet manager at the time, like, bro, I can't go down there. This this route that they want me to go is not a truck route. My Ram and Nally is telling me telling me which way to go, which the proper way to go. What's up? So he goes and tell me like, well, if you if you go off route, you have to pay for it and yada yada yada. I'm like, wait, what do you mean pay for it? Like like pay what? Well, for every for every mile that you're out of route, you'll be hit with a dollar. It's the same thing like. Yep. Same mm-hmm. thing like they told you. They told me the same thing. Yeah, like if I'm out me of, going out the way the first time. So the second time, I'm like, I ain't going to go out the way. This is a decent place to turn around. I can't turn around nowhere else. I'm going all out the way. Okay, well, I have to make a human decision. And, you know, that was, yeah. Yeah, so a dollar a mile. And I was telling them, I'm like, no, man. Like, I, I, I can't go this way. So what you want me to do? So, yeah, it's the driver tech, Qualcomm, or whatever GS yeah. system that comes with the truck. That that GP is garbage. That's why I went on here and invested in a Ram at Nally at the time. E, but even if they knew, sound corny, sound corny. But to me, me getting an extra yeah. on top of the one to give us that's supposed to come with the job to do our job work. It's like if somebody work at McDonald's and they sell a burger, they tell you your own burgers to sell. What the heck is the reason we working here? You got all these things just don't last on me, laughing. Man, this is going to be massive. So. It's, it's best to have your own G. It's, it, it, take, take my word yeah, for it. Yeah, I got you. Coming off of yeah, two and a half years and not working. It, it's best to have your own G. Mm-hmm. Anyway, regardless if they offer you one or not, it, it's it's best to invest in one. And I know they yeah, are they are expensive. I know the least expensive one is like 400 bucks, but that's like the little five inch that one that you could barely see i, I went for the 600 dollar one and this this was like is an eight inch so man 800 dollars for your uber though that's that's that that's like, a hit in the pocket too like wow they just came right off the taxes because it's you getting to work right like, how how was your how, how was your husband feeling about that like that, that that's a lot of money yeah I mean, he didn't like it, but like I said, my car had COVID. His car got pneumonia, so you know we have car issues. Try to get, you know get things together. You know we gotta add more duct tape to his. You know he got 2012, and it gets us there. You know, but yeah, you just gotta upgrade again. Two and a half years of sitting, doing what gotta do on. You know, this is what it is. Yeah, like I said, he don't mind. He doesn't mind me working. He know he knows me. You know, I'm a go-getter. How did he feel about the fact that you let go, like, literally after Christmas? Like, how did he feel about he that? He pain. You know, um, hold on, wait a minute. Give me a second. Hold on. No, nah, take your time. Hold on. I try not to cry. I shed it a tear. It's not worth crying about. It's life. Oh, no. Hey. Okay, I'm proud of the people, places, and situations. I've been through life. I've bounced back. I've accomplished 
Okay. Yeah, I shed a tear too by trying not to cry because, you know, life I go on. As I remember that I'm powerless over people, places, and situations. No, you, you know, good. I you good. Pay. Take your time. I've, I've accomplished a lot. I still have so much more to accomplish. I do have hobbies. That's the reason why you should never just put all the eggs in a basket. I have other hobbies that, you know, I could do to keep my mind off of it. I know I'm a great driver. You know, people have different rules and regulations, but overall, I'm a great driver. I've done like 200 some thousand miles in my little career. I love trucking. Again, I have other hobbies I can fall back on. I I just see that all of the issues revolved around the truck jeep. I, I could just think that they could have gave you some type of consideration. They seen that this truck jeep took you down some some weird places, and you had to do some right. some serious maneuvering to to, to to get out. And if that one particular area that you had to do a U turn, and that was the only way to get yeah. out was by doing that U turn, they they should have just gave you consideration for that. Not for the fact that I got stuck in a dead end and I had to back back down right next to a bayou that had a serious drop. Like if I make one wrong move, I'm gonna fall into this. Me and Octopus Prime is gonna fall into this water and be swimming. I messed with all that. Well, actually, you didn't. You didn't know until you got there, but. You was coming in on the pretense of hopping in the truck, get ready to start your week. What you get, an email or a text? I got a, um, a message saying to come in okay. for a face to face. And then I was like, like if I'm telling me don't put my dog on, because I'm like, just for some reason for me to come in. I'm like, well, if I don't put him on the truck and they send me out to work, then you know he'd be here. You know, we gotta make some arrangements for my dog. He didn't want to go. And I'm, uh, uh, oh boy, okay. So I got there and called my husband and told him to come get me. So we had to make two trips because when you get on the truck, you literally move onto the truck. You know, it's not like you take a, you're on a day cab, you grab a backpack, you know, have your lunch in there and do what you got to do and get off. You literally move onto the truck. You got everything. It's condo, two bedroom condo with a little basement. It took me all day to put my stuff. When you went in to talk to him, what was, what was the conversation? Like, was it just <clears throat> um, pretty much I said? Went in. Oh, okay. I was, I went in, um, one girl greeted me. She's pretty cool. Um, I'm always cool with her. I don't know who the lady I'll talk to because I've never, I've never, met, never met her. So she was like, you started with us. She's like, go in the room and she'd be ready in a few. So I'm thinking she's coming downstairs. So I go in the room. It's a dark room with a couch, no lights on, just sat me in the dark. I'm like, okay. So the lady came, so the guy came back and told me to uh, go. She was ready for me. I go in there and sit down and the lady's on a video. I thought like I had to go all the way in the dark room to sit down for somebody to not come downstairs and be on the same screen you're just looking at. Okay, whatever. So I sat down and she's like, talking about how cold her office was, whatever. But she's like, uh, you started with us in September. And when she said that, I said, yeah, this is my 90 days. Yeah. So welcome to Ohio when you barely get past your 90 days. So I was like, yeah. She's like, well, you had an incident where I had I went through the red light uh, coming off the highway. And uh, there was no way of, you know, the light there because the signs were supposed to have it before weren't there. So anyway, so yeah, that happened. She said, then you did, uh, they had me for speed. Uh, the GPS had got me off the track. And I didn't see the speed limit, but I did reduce my highway mail. Apparently, I didn't reduce them enough. So that was a problem. Um, then she said, you had the incident where, said, do you, uh, you, you, uh, I busted you, or she said, those words, turn to you, busted you, whatever. You know where you was at? I was like, I'm thinking like, no, because that's something I don't really do. So no, I don't I don't know I'd be a half time trucker. You know, I just thought I'd do my job. So she was like, well, that's what terminates you. I said, do you have a camera that? She said, yeah. You were down in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm like, did this woman ask me that I knew where I was at? And she had like them in front of her. I think she said, well, when you was down in Jacksonville, Florida, you know, you got me thinking all over the country, like, where was I at to do this? But okay, Florida. So I asked her to show me the, um, the picture, and she showed it to me. I saw you, I said, I was Bob till the end, and um, there was no cars coming. She said, well, it doesn't matter, you did it anyway. I, it said, it said, bust you, and, you know, turn, she kept saying, make a U-turn. It said, find a safe location to turn around. There was no other place I could turn around but right there. Because the day before, when I was trying to find a place, you know, park, I had went down the road before, and I went down too far. But I did turn around the same way I did then. But it was a different, it was a different Utah I did then. So I guess what got me on that was that when I turned around, the way I stopped, it probably triggered the camera. But I'm like, I had, you got that one, but you the one where I was lost, you know, since just the night before, the day before, I had to turn around. But I turned around in a different location, but still I had to turn around because there was nowhere to turn around. So I said to turn around in the middle of the street. It's just a side street that did go on. But anyway, um, 
I didn't go back down to the street because there's no light. You can't see. I just did my best. You know, human and life goes on. So she just said, like, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's kind of cold about it. And she said, I had to um, enter my truck. I was terminated. I said, so I had to go back home. And she said, unfortunately, you know, you can't get back in the truck. You have to do it now. You can get an Uber. We get an Uber. We can find someone. We're not going to hold yourself hostage. You have to figure out a way to get the stuff out. I said, no problem. She's kind of cold about it. Because she said, she asked the lady that had, um, I was on the computer, I was on like, who is this I need to terminate? I don't know who to see. Wow, number. You become a number and not a name. <laughs> like, I didn't say nothing. I just got up. She yeah. didn't even know your name. <laughs> she didn't even know your, she she didn't even know your name. Like, yeah, wow. This, First thing this, I had, like, this and is all, a number and, and not a name. And all of this was on a Zoom call, pretty much. Yep. She yep. wasn't even no, face to face with right. you or nothing. How is that? Well, I guess in right, modern, right. You know, you in modern times, phone. in modern times, a face to face could be a Zoom. And guess call. what? In modern times, my phone, my iPhone or Samsung, because it had the same call at the house. <laughs> I did there. Wow. I loaded everything, and no problem taking the truck back up there. So you was, so you was bobtailed. You you wasn't. You didn't have yeah. your trailer. I was not. I was not under a load or anything. Wow. And you still can't make a U-turn even if you're bobtailed? And not under a load. They didn't even have anything for me. I'm just sitting there. Yeah, I know if you have a truck and trailer, if you do a U-turn. I was under a load. I just right. thought I was going to a load. You know, I could see. I was no. I was just in the wind. Just. But well, you was bobtailed, though. That... Yeah. And it so, was at nighttime where it was. So let me get this straight. So if it would have been, I, I guess it would have been better instead of making a U-turn, you could have just turned back up turn back up again and then turn and then went back your back the way no her thing was because when i turned i had to stop and back up right that's that's I'm like, wait if you, had to stop, I said it was, if you had to stop and back you did you have to stop and back up well i was in the middle of a turn i went up in the little lip thing because the little driveway lip if you was right around just look on the sideways how you had the little lip that comes out I don't know, it don't be no, no driveway, nothing, it's a little lip. It's, not, it's definitely ain't a wheelchair when you come out in the middle of the street. You know, it's a little lip that when you turn your U-turn, you got to go up in there a little bit and bang back. That's what I did. And apparently, I mean... This sounds matter. like just, you, this this sounds like you was in a in a cul-de-sac or something like that, right? That That's what it sounds no, like. No, no, I wasn't. It was, when you're going down the street, they have like two lanes in the island. You got those areas where you U-turn. Okay. Okay. Um, when you like U turn, right there beside the U turn, there's a lip that comes out, like a driveway lip that comes off the sidewalk. It's like something that if you was like if you was on a bike, if you go on the sidewalk, but it's lined with trees, so there's nothing to do but to turn around right there. I don't know. I don't I need to ask a uh, a concrete person why they even put this up there. But yeah, it's a little area where you could actually turn it would be if you don't turn, you can turn here. Because it wasn't on any other um any other space where people try to, it wasn't any other place except for this spot. Like, okay, well, maybe this is safe. I was trying to pull it up. As you said, it wasn't no cars. You pretty much did it no. safely. But they, they like, felt that it was. In the morning. It's like nobody outside. It's a business area, so it's pretty much dead. A, a few cars coming, but not really that, that many. But at the time, it was no cars. So I thought it was safe to turn. I ain't no cars behind me. And I remember her to turn around before a car do come around, you know, because it's a hill down there. It was, it was good. It was like way down the way. I have plenty of time to do what I need to do. It's just and my thing is, the night before, the day before when I had went down the same street, was, um, by accident. I had turned there before was the street that, that that night it was a pitch black dark. When I turned, I'm like over here. And I busted you right there in the middle. It was no car. It was nothing. Y'all didn't get that. But y'all got this. No, y'all can't see it because, no, that man pineapple. Y'all, y'all just made that up. Y'all just wanted to wake up today like, I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas. You ain't either. Go home. <laughs> you are the weakest link. You know, whatever. So they do owe you at least one more settlement, though, right? So what I did um, the Monday, half a Tuesday. Because Monday, it was just there for Monday, but Monday the winter storm not shut down. And then I, well, I'm like, I'm in the middle of a winter storm up in Michigan. No, they said the winter storm to four o'clock. My truck is blowing all over the place. No, I'm shutting down. I'll pick up tomorrow. And I remember when I was coming home, they kept saying they dropped my, my, my truck in, uh, I guess they dropped my, my truck and trailer somewhere. I'm like, why are they telling me to drop my truck and trailer here? Because I always take my truck home when I, you know, bob to home after I go, you know, to work. And they kept on saying it. And they kept playing in my hand like, why did they tell me to drop my truck and trailer off at such, 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 such? I don't know what it said. And I'm like, that's what made me be like. Because they, was, right. they, 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 already, they, they already knew 
what they, they was going to do. Right. Again, they already they knew, and they wanted to make sure in. they wanted to make sure that they got the truck back before you before they, they tell you I'm, what they I'm, was going to do. Let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if I can pull up where this place is at. Cause it was somewhere in Ohio. I've never heard of. You know how they make up cities and counties while you sleep, but um. I've never heard of this because when we got my truck and trailer off too, I'm like, no, I'm dropping my truck off in Lima. I mean, my trailer off in Lima, that's just like uh, maybe 90 miles or 100 miles away from home. So I went ahead and dropped that off and just headed on home. Uh, route, yeah, now 168, so I, about 168 is where I dropped it off at. I had to come down to 58. That's where I come home and that's my exit. So um, Morgan, Ohio or something like that? Yeah, I'm I know like, where, I know where that's there? at. I don't know. Yeah, I know where that is. They were telling me to drop my tractor off there. This is the, the best they gave me. Make sure you drop it off here. You know, drop it off here. Drop it off in the um, USA Trailers, you know, U.S. Express's uh, lease lot. I kept saying, why are you told me this? So I, I ignored it because I'm going home now. So I went ahead and came home. Y'all could have y'all could called me and said, hey, you know, if you're going home, drop it off here. I would have still came home, drop my stuff off because I don't know. Yeah, they they already knew. They, they, they already, yeah, they, 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 they already right, knew. Right, right. They already right. knew. So, they already knew. Yeah. They already knew. They already knew what yeah. they was going to do to you. Know, you I know when he got up on Christmas at the Christmas morning and said, what, 1,500 trucks? Like, hey, let me point her out. Yeah, I didn't stand out like that because it wasn't that serious. So, yeah, yeah, I already knew. Y'all could have said something in. Hey, it's going to be your last round. We're going to need you to uh, turn the truck in. You know, it was, unless they used to people, you know, threatening them or whatever. Yeah, you know, it's, it's painful. It hurts. You know, it is what it is. That's why money should never make or break you because of stuff like this. I just got to keep trying to motivate myself because I was literally, and I ain't had a pre talk with myself. So I was trying to just go around, you know, because mental health is real. And when you try to walk away from depression, you know, I'm always have episodes. Yeah, it's going to come and go. I'm going to have triggers. <laughs> this one's a trigger. But I have to keep remembering that if I do something great to every new level, there's a new devil. I'm still trying to walk away from depression. Again, I've dropped a couple of tears. I try not to because I know I'm powerless over people, places, and situations. And I'm still walking away from depression. Things going to happen. But I have to renew a whole lot of things. I accomplish in life, even though I do have depression, PTSD. A lot of things I have accomplished and a lot of things I still have going on for myself. And if I could never, you know, go back, which I should be able to because it wasn't that serious, it's according to the rules. But um, there's times I, okay, well, do I have the trailer? And one time I had to bust with you with my trailer with USA Truck. And I was so far out that there was no turnaround. I mean, I was in another city, but I made a safe turn. They never said about that. So again, it's everybody has different rules. It's got by by their rules. And some people be more lenient, some people be more strict. Because even some things that USA Truck had taught me that I was used to, it didn't apply to them. And I was just like, wow, they have different rules. And you know, it is what it is. Yeah, different rules, different uh, programs. You know, I, I know a lot of companies frowned upon U turns, but I, I was thinking more of U turn. Yeah, it was, with, with it was dry, trailer. like, right, right. I mean, it was like dry, like, I'm not doing, like, you know, dry, like, I'm not doing here. Let me turn around right now, you know, I, it was a safe turn. I can't turn away. I can turn around here. So, yeah, that was, I could see it was busy traffic. I'm trying to cut on the traffic. It was nobody there, it was just me. But, you know, uh, yeah, no, I'm not saying U turns are good. It said turn around where it was safe. And I, every place I had on went, my dad so so I couldn't find the dark place I went to the day before because it was dark. I just know I had to still have to come up on it in the daylight. And I was trying to find it, but I couldn't find it. I said, let me just turn right here because I won't go too far out because the mouth got the way, you know. Um, I wasn't under no load. I didn't have no trailer with me. I was just, they had already had to find something for me. Every time I turn around, they always tell me, well, they'd give me like so many days to get somewhere. If they give me like three days to be there, I'll probably be there in two days. I'm done. I got all my loads done. Like, oh, we got to try to find you something else. Oh, well, yeah, we gave you time to do it. Oh, you want me to sit back and do nothing? He just light a gag. I'm not used to that. I'm used to getting in the truck, turn these wheels, dump my load, ready to pick up the next one. So, because it's hard getting past 2,000. I'm used to 3,400 miles, 3,500 miles with USA Truck. With USA Express, if I did 2,000, I pushed for that. I'm like, that guy at least did 25. The most I got was 2,200. That's all they had for me. And then they have a thing where, of course, you can't, they tell me I, I can't pull up to the side because if something happened and I get, it'd be our fault. Got you. However, they would give me a load. I would pre print, like I always do, get the next morning and do my load. Well, in the middle of me driving, they've been on giving me a message, uh, you know, like text this, you know, say ASAP, urgent message, your load has changed. They've been on, took the load off of me. Now, here it is. One, one time was 400 miles out, away from, my, no, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, overkill. I was like 197 miles out, and they had to change my load. Which means change my load? They changed my load from me driving to empty to picking up a load and taking it to where I was at. I'm like 100. I'm like almost 200 miles away from where I was at because you just gave me this load last night. I pre-planned. I got up 
at four this morning, I'm going to start rolling. Now, here it is. I'm going to change our mind. I'm going to got to make up our mind. Because now I'm, gonna, I'm sitting here on the side of the road because it's an urgent to keep flashing five or six times. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I had to pull over to a place where I couldn't really pull over my maid dude to figure out what was going on, what was the urgency. They just couldn't call me and tell me. So, yeah, I ended up having to find a place to sh- shut down, which was another 30 miles away. That was coming from uh, Texas. I come from Texas. And um, I pulled over, and they was like, oh, we're going to uh, since you pick up this load, we can get another load. Because the load they wanted me to get was going towards Kansas. Y- no, y'all had me going towards Ohio. They only go to Kansas. So you want me to go back to where I was at to drop this to pick up the load to go to Kansas? Really? Well, we're going to take it. That was our fault. It's a whole lot of their fault. I let it fly at. The one simple mountain o'clock you turn to turn around and go shut down the weather, y'all, this is terminated. But, you know, I'm in my 90 days. They pass 90 days still. Yeah. Well, I hope everything works out for you in the future. Talk to me. It helped me. It, it helped a lot. It made me feel a little better. I know I'm not Thank you. One, but it helps. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I appreciate the fact that I, I was he, I was here for you and and have an ear for you to for you to talk and everything and I I know a lot of this is is kind of messed up especially around the silly season where where drivers are mentally effed the most around 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 a season like this in order and and to find out that just the day after christmas is is even it's even worse right. so i could probably say the day before christmas the day after it is whatever day is it's not it's, it's not a good thing it's not a good thing because the u.s express is the reason why i always look at safety as as the villain like Whenever I whenever I have to go in there and talk to safety, I know it's never good. It's it's never right. it's, it's never good. Yeah, I'm still driving. Yeah, yeah, I'm still driving. I I I've been left. I I've been left U.S. Express. Haven't looked back either. Right. right. Haven't looked back. But uh, but I I give it to U.S. Express. No no bashing to them. They gave me my start. They gave me my experience. But I can honestly say that U.S. Express gave me everything I needed. I, I thought it was going to be my end-all, be-all. I thought I was going to retire from them, but... Right. That's how the USA. They're not in the USA no more. They DB something. Oh, it's not USA Truck no more? No. I went back to them. Everybody who I knew at, at USA, they're not there no more. They all retired. And then the one job I was doing, the Intermoto, that guy, he's not even with them no more. I called them. They said right now, they didn't have us pods coast to coast. I was just shopping myself, like, I don't know about all that. And then, like, uh, they got teams and all. I don't do well with others. So they said, uh, right now it's slow. They said the industry is slow. So it's the holidays. They said, take yeah. back a couple of weeks because it changes. Yeah. So it's always, especially after the holidays, the first couple of months usually don't pick back up until around March, April. But yeah, January, yeah, January, thinking, thinking February. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty, and it's already messed up as it is, but January, February is is usually the slow times. Yeah, I heard that the, uh, since, I, since I had to sit out, um, a lot of things have changed in the industry, how it's slow, even some own operators are talking about how it's slow. I had went, I was in a, okay, where was that? It was at 10 o'clock at night. I was having to go sit down. It was so empty. I was shocked. Like, it's 10 o'clock at night and it's this empty? Yeah, they said it was slow out here, you know. So up right now, in the meantime, what I'm doing is um, I still have a modeling I could do. Um, I've been getting casting calls for that. I still have my martial arts I could fall back on. So I have hobbies that, you know, to keep me, you know, a flip type of what I'm going to do. So I'll probably just chill out for the time my grandbabies. Because um, they didn't want me to go to work. They want me to stay home. I guess I'll just, you know, second, like my thoughts, still work out, still keep me up, make both look good, and then pick up later on. Hopefully that. you'll be able to bounce back. So just take all of this as, as a learning experience. I would definitely encourage you to get a, a Jeep, either yeah. a Ram and Nelly or a Garmin. I, I would definitely encourage you to get one of those because I don't put all of my eggs in one Jeep. basket I, I i still use it i still use it as a tool but i do have my ram and nally book I, I use google maps as well but but the ram and nally that i had my very first ram and nally never steered me wrong uh, the garmin that i got now with modest updates kept me on the road and you know, just be mindful of the area that you're at. And if the GPS do tell you to go down the area and you just happen to see a low clearance 
bridge and the GPS yeah. still say go down there and you see the low clearance. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you, you don't want to do that. Some kind of bridge. Or, some kind of bridge from me but way, way, way off again when they had the construction. You know, they changed the site. So it's like, you don't even know where to go. Like, right. And areas like truck routes will definitely be mindful of that because sometimes the GPS will tell you to go straight. But you have to go through the truck route, which actually takes you around the city. So it's just a lot of a lot of things that you just got to be mindful out here. Like I said, the GP do help. A Ram and Nally or a Garmin. Never trust a truck computer GP. That that driver tech or that Qualcomm. Don't don't trust that. If you get into a situation, if you don't have the Ram and Nally book, or just do a satellite view of the area like I do and 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 find where's the uh, state routes is at because if you can find a state route then you're you're good to go on a state route if you need to find areas on the map you can zoom you can zoom in you can use Google Earth especially if you're in an area where you don't have no no issues with signal and all like that uh, that's why I tell everybody don't just depend on the Google uh, everybody get like but I, I don't need to buy a GPS. I don't need to spend all that money for a GPS. I got Google. Well, yeah, but what if you get into an area and you lose signal? Then what? Yeah. Because when you make a turn and it, it's time to reroute, it's looking for a signal to make that reroute and you, you're you stuck. Mm -hmm. You're stuck. Spump, sometimes, the, sometimes the signal be so weak that when you do zoom in, you can't. You can't get a clear, clear view on on the area where you at because it's still because it's it's still trying to load the graphics, the streets, and all like that. So that's why I said invest in Ram and Nally or Garmin. I like both of them. I don't have a, a favorite like some people do. Some people be like I favor the Garmin over the Ram and Nally. I Ram and Nally over the Garmin. If as long as you update the Garmin or the Ram and Nally, usually when I go home, I usually oh, it's Wi-Fi now. So I just take it home, hook it up to the house Wi-Fi, and and let it update that way. So I, I would definitely, definitely encourage you to invest in a, in a, in in a G. Okay. Okay. All right, Lashawn. Well, it was awesome talking to you. Great talking to you too. Uh. In too deep like Omar Make me wanna track you down And hit the track hawk with the crowbar I knew we wouldn't go far Like we ran out of ethanol Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved When I met you You was on the couch with the plastic She need an Emmy Bitch so dramatic Now your baggage Got me on edge like jagged Fucking up my homes Look Patrick You swift to jump shift like a chief Been crying on my line like Therese But it ain't all you It's me Blame it on the things I went through